Good evening. First of all, uh, we're very happy that uh, we are here in this Final Four. As you ask me, a lot of people they don't expect to be here, but I expected, and this was our uh, our dream and our target. You know, one day to be in Final Four with Finisterre, and happen this year. Mm, I think we deserve to be here. All the teams they deserve to be here. It's a long. A uh, season that everybody uh, shows that uh, the team that deserves to be here, they are here. Uh, what I will tell to my players, just to be themselves and to play the same basketball that they play all year, and you know, nothing changed. <laughs> First of all, I think uh, this cannot uh, come from one, uh, from one day to the other. You have to work uh, from the first day of our preparation on this mentality. Second, you have to take the right characters and the right players that they can follow this mentality. So it's very important for us, like a coach, is to make good decision in the summer to take the right players that they will follow uh, our character. And third, uh, you know, the, uh, we have motivated players, hungry players that they want to make something special in their uh, career and uh, they have a chance this year to make it and they work hard about this and uh, it's nothing come easy you know nothing come easy you have very a lot of difficulties and all these difficulties create our character and uh, create our momentum thank you mr spanulis the gentleman in the red jersey there yeah? another question for coach spanulis coach you have worked with your team during the whole season you have your style you have your patterns your routines how do you prepare your team for an event like this, that is just one game, you win, you proceed, you lose, you go home. Can you tell us something from the psychological perspective, probably? Can you share some secrets, maybe? Of course, you know, difficult moments are back. You know, now it's enjoyment, you know, to be in the Final Four. Now it's easy, you know, for a team like Peristeri to... Uh, it's very, very difficult to go to top 16. It's very, very difficult to go to playoffs. It's very, very, very difficult to go to Final Four, but now it's not difficult. Now we don't have pressure, we just go to play basketball. First of all, we have great respect about uh, coach and the team of Tenerife. They're a great team. <laughs> a lot of years, a lot of Final Fours, always there, they show their culture and their winning uh, identity. And, uh, you know, from the other side, uh, we are new in Final Four, but, you know, a lot of times uh, I was, like, not the favorite, not the, we were underdogs also as a player, now also as a coach of uh, Peristeri. You know, in these games, everybody has his percentages. It's everybody, four teams, has 25%. Uh, now, for Tenerife, you know, we have to play our... Uh, uh, our basketball that we play all year, they are a team that they can read everything and uh, they have answer for everything you have on the court. So we don't want to, to pretend the smart ones. We have to play basketball, especially against a team like the Riff. Thank you, Coach Spanoulis. Now the gentleman in the cup. Uh, so this is a question for Mr. Spanoulis again. <laughs> you had uh, many great battles in this city as a player and there is a court name after you here in the city. So what would it mean to you to win the Champions League in Belgrade? No, you know, this is too far, you know, we have first the first game tomorrow, of course, we have great memories, but uh, I will carry these experiences uh, now as a coach. The most important is like that now I, do, I don't play the basketball. Now my players play the basketball and they are the stars and the, the protagonism and uh, they will decide uh, the game. We are on the sidelines and we will give them instruction and the tactic but they will uh, decide the game. So we have uh, to stay positive and to have great character.